Thousands of students at Susan B. Wagner High School on Staten Island staged a walkout today to protest ongoing violence in their school. Parents at the school, just one of many where weapons have been confiscated amid increasing violence, say the Department of Education needs to take steps to protect their kids. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the story. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, even before the protest took place, police from the local precinct rushed to the school because according to the school safety union, there had been a threat that the gunman was coming to shoot at the students when they walked out in protest. It was a dramatic way to make the kids point that they're tired of being afraid just to go to school. I feel like we deserve to feel safe at school. We shouldn't be afraid to go to school because of violence. We're kids. We shouldn't be dealing with this. We deserve to go to school and learn and have fun with our friends, and it's just not fair. No, I just don't want to die. The violence, it's bad. You know, we're all traumatized. This is craziness. I had to stay home from school all of last week. I'm very scared for my life to come here. We already had a shelter in again today. This is craziness. It has to stop. Thousands of students at Susan B. Wagner High School on Staten Island walking out in protest to send a dramatic message to education officials to protect them. Heightened the drama and the concern, police received a threat that a gunman was threatening to shoot students as they came out. CBS2 cameras caught a cop unable to get into the school because the doors were locked when students were ordered to shelter in place until there was an all clear. School safety union head Gregory Floyd says the city needs to up its game because school violence is soaring all over the city. Give the young people a lot of credit. They understand what's going on, the narrative. They are begging, begging for protection. They need more school safety agents. They need metal detectors. They need tougher laws. They need to know that young children, teenagers, can't carry guns and not be punished. Students protesting incidents like this wild brawl at the school where a school safety agent was dragged to the floor while trying to stop a 13 year old who was later arrested after she allegedly used a kitchen knife to menace other students. And this incident prompting another shelter in place order after a 16 year old and an 18 year old reported being assaulted near the track and football field. Metal detectors need to be installed permanently. Where's the metal detectors? This past week they only had metal detectors on Tuesday and Wednesday. How about the rest of the week? Should there be full-time scanning equipment here? Oh, hell yeah. I completely support it one billion percent. What do you want the Department of Education to do? <laughs> one, to, it's, to me, it feels like a lot of cover-up. Just be honest and open with the parents. People are shutting us out and not telling us things, and it's scary. Well, the Department of Education insists that safety is a, quote, paramount priority. The spokesman insisting unannounced scanning will be held with greater frequency, and there will be staggered dismissals to decrease the number of students congregating outside at any time. There will also be a town hall meeting at the school tonight, and that promises to be a hot one. It's heartbreaking to hear those students. Yes. Thank you, Marsha.